Why, hello there, guys and gals. The Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another very easy 100% achievement and trophy guide. And this time, we're getting it all in Mages and Treasure. A game developed by Light Up, published by Rattalike Games, and it's usually available for just £4.99, as is the huge. So this game will be all too familiar to you if you've played Light Up's other games, uh, Milo's Quest, Mina and Michi, Super, Super Boxland D-Make, etc. This plays basically the same, only this time, you're a wizard, Eri. <laughs> the mechanics are the same, you got to pick up items to shoot stuff, dash stuff, kill enemies and mess up the land. Puzzles are still the same as well, push boxes onto buttons, go through doors, etc. Basically, it's an easy payday for the devs, copy and paste with some different characters. Um, achievements and trophies are pretty much as you'd expect too. We've got to kill 25, 50 and 100 enemies, collect 25, 50 and 100 coins, kill the first boss, get to the second boss, and that's basically the 1k completo. So, we're going to be looking at around 10 to 15 minutes, maybe 20, depending on if you get stuck on the COVID turtles. I'll come to that when we get there, uh, to get this done. So, with that being said then, let us begin. Now the first thing that we are going to be needing to be doing is going to the options to basically turn on easy mode because if you're on an easy 1000, why not stick it on easy mode, right? So go to the options, turn the weather effects to no because you just can't be as messing around with that. Turn easy mode to yes, go back and let us begin. Uh, press any profile you want, smash the A button there to smash through all of the dialogue, we don't need that. And basically it's left stick to move. Um, now, we do have to collect 100 coins, but you don't have to go... I mean, we're going to collect tons after killing all the enemies and everything. So, there are uh, literally plenty to collect. So, I wouldn't worry about going back to grab all the coins if you don't want to. So, go straight up the linear path and into the next area. Same, this is another linear path. Just go up to the right here and into the t next area. Right, first puzzle we need to do. Press the X button or the square on PlayStation to push the bo uh, boxes. Push them onto the buttons, and that is how you do any of these puzzles. There is an achievement for completing five puzzles as well, which we get. So push this box to the left and down, and jump down the gate. Simples, as pimples, man. Right, next puzzle we are going to do is here. So push this first, uh, this bottom right box all the way down to the bottom right switch. Incredible, I know. Then the bottom left all the way to the bottom left switch. Uh, but again, if you could try not to mess up like I did right here, uh, or almost, yeah, you've got to push it pretty much square on. And then, of course, get the top right one, push that one down, eventually we'll push that one down, past old Mario Magical Mushroom Land right there, push it onto the right switch, and then the for the final box, push it down, and that is some incredible strength you get in there. So, the gate opens, we now have the wind amulet, it's basically a shooty shooty McShoot boy. Um, which you can press the A button or the right trigger. Uh, press the X button to open up the gate here to get through to the other side and kill all these little puffballs. They kind of... Th these are just basically Pokemon. The first... Uh, these are new Pokemon that's going to happen. I can already see Nintendo doing that. Please don't sue me and uh, shut my channel down, Nintendo, for mentioning your name. Uh, so <laughs> just kill all the enemies because I know what you friggin' like. Kill all the enemies here. And you should get the 25 coins if you've been picking them up. If not, you'll get it in a bit as anyway. Uh, for this one, we can just skip through. So go all the way to the right. Nay, panicking. Go up to the top, all the way to the right. If you go at the bottom there, you just have to get past that spiky boy spike trap. Like the one from Matilda. And in this area, let's just continue going to the right. And we can ignore all the enemies once again. So go up here and we just need to do this uh, one puzzle. So bottom right box, push it down. And the bottom left one, push that down as well. I did push it a bit too far, but it's no worries. Nay panic, brother. So the bottom right one, just push it up to the sort of one on the very right. The switch on the very right. Now push the left box and the right box up. So you can obviously grab them. Push them over and then push it down on that switch. And then push the left one down on the left side switch. And then go all the way around. Push this box out. Again, it does matter if you've done it a bit too far. Just push it out. And then we can push it up. To the left and then up onto the switch. And away we go, Mr. Midge. How can you see? This is kind of like Kenny from South Park. Right, here are the COVID turtles I mentioned. So these turtles actually shoot you. And they're bloody annoying as well. So uh, these little Pokemon puffballs, don't worry about these. But the turtles can shoot you. And they shoot you pr and you can die pretty quickly. So if you want to, kill one and just hide up here until they stop shooting. Go and kill the next one. 
Yeah, I mean, it's pretty easy to avoid, but if they hit you basically a couple of times in a row, damn, man, you dead. So, do the same with these turtles then. Um, yeah, just again, so there's the little COVID balls they shoot. Um, if you do run low on health, going through the grass does produce some HP as well. And I did forget to mention, actually, um, if you do die, you'll just start in the same area as well, which is always nice. Uh, so, if again, just avoid these traps if you can. Go through the... The grass, if you're running low on health as we go to the left, picking up the silver key right here, and we need to kill all these enemies as well. So, kill the COVID turtles quick before they infect you with the, you know, 16th wave, and you've got to get your 403rd booster jab. Quickly, kill them now. There you go, little Pokemon puffballs. Very nice, very nice. Um, also, if you do end up dying, the coins you've collected uh, remain, and the enemies that you've already killed, the, the number remains as well. So, as soon as we do that, grab this little HP potion, the extra HP potion of life. Don't need to worry about the gold key. We literally don't need to collect any gold keys, but that'll be an achievement for getting the HP potion. Okay, then. <clears throat> so, from here, we go to the left, grabbing this silver key. And then we can just keep continue going to the left, press the X button to go on this gate, and go through to the other side. Right, this is basically the final area before the first boss. Go down this little narrow alleyway right here. No COVID turtles to try and get us our uh, 479th booster. We just got to kill these little Pokemon puffballs. Bloop. And there we go. Pick up the magic, the mana, your maximum MP has been increased by plus one. Plus it gives us the get more magic achievement. Job done. So we don't have to worry about that now. So now we can just go up and press X here on the... Uh, on on the gate right immediately just keep spamming the a button on the boss if you need any hp just go into the grass into the corners right here to grab some more he does obviously start shooting stuff so as you can see i almost died but luckily i got it um so yeah just keep heading for the corner so you can just keep picking up the hp while shooting the old uh the legendary douchebag and troll of life but that is the first boss he's easy enough anyway and now we go into the frozen woods. Why can't it be like the sunniest beach level? You know, where we can get a tan or something. Why is it always got to be friggin' frozen? Anyway, from that first area, we went left. Now we're going to kill all these wolves. Now, to kill them, what you need to do is basically just run away from them a little bit and then shoot them. Um, otherwise, they're just gonna, they're going to eat you out and not in a good way either. Uh, so there's going to be a couple more wolves, about five or six in this area. Again, if you are needing health, always have a look at these little bits of grass. But basically, we're now, sla we're now slamming wolves with big giant rocks or something. Impressive. So here we go then. This is the point. I think I'm going to get the 100 coins achievement in this bit as well. Again, you may get it at the same time. You may get it a little bit later, but you'll get it eventually. The amount of enemies you've got to kill and everything. So you can ignore the puzzle. You can ignore the traps in this area. Oh, well, you can't ignore them. We've got to go past them. Uh, but we do have to kill all the enemies. So... Again, you know, the ta best tactic to use, don't go straight for them, you know, let them come to you uh, where you're in a bit of a safe area, i.e. where we are in these barrels, so you can just shoot them dead, and ignore that puzzle as well, so we can just move on down. Right, so from here, we are going to uh, the left, and down, and to the left again, over the switches, and then up to the left into the next area. Okay, now we fly, now we fly. Right, push this first box and then up to the top right switch. Push the bottom one to the right and then the top one, um, well, when put it on the switch, put, just push the top one and then push that on the switch and then this final box is easily put on the uh, last switch. Sorry if I went out <laughs> quite a bit quick there. Uh, now we can do a, a bit of a dash attack or just a regular dash. So press the B or left trigger to dash and again, you can use it as many times as you want because apparently the magic never seems to go down, so... Well, that comes in handy. Uh, wait for the traps to go down, spiky boys, the old chokers. And then we're good. Again, try and avoid the traps, just go up and keep going up. And then up past these traps, up past these traps, go to the left. Ignore the gold key again, we don't need that. Now go through to the left into the next area. Right, this is another one we need to kill all the wolves in this area. So, again, just do the same thing you're doing. It's... You know, I mean, it is pretty self-explanatory. You should know how to get HP. You should know how to kill all the enemies by now. And if not, then... Damn, man. How, how have you got this far in, in, in the gaming world? So just kill all the wolves for now, and then the gate will basically open on the left.
And when I said gate will open on the left, what I meant was the top, obviously. Uh, so up, <laughs> up above, the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Right, so we've got a couple of COVID turtles, but we're going to ignore these. So dash to the left, dash up. Keep going to the left and just ignore the uh, COVID 16th Omicron variant turtle. We need to kill all the wolves in this area though, so, you know, well, and the uh, <laughs> the, Oma the 28th o Omicron variant turtle. So, again, just be careful if you do sort of end up struggling. Again, just take your time. Uh, you shouldn't have too many issues though. Um, and then kill this final turtle right here. And there we go, that opens that gate. Delicious. Right, go to the left, we need to solve another puzzle. The um, bottom one, push it to the left slightly, and then we can push the right one up, the top one up, and to the left. You can go down and push the middle one now to the middle switch, and then just push this box down and push that onto the switch. Delicious. Right, now we can get back up. Uh, get into the end now, not too far from the end, but we do have that achievement for solving five puzzles, which again, even if you didn't, Somehow, you could just um, restart the game and do the very first one a couple of times. Very easy, anyway. So, again, just avoid the traps. Wait until the spikes go up. Now, again, we need to go to the right. So, you can either kill the enemies or just avoid them, like I did. We're into the final two areas now, as well. So, uh, we can avoid the enemies, but it's probably worth just shooting these bottom wolves, anyway. Make sure that your HP is full and that you are full as a bull. Full of bull sperm, so you can stick it in an energy drink, of course. Because that's why that's why bull sperm tastes so good. <laughs> I mean, energy drinks taste so good. So this is the final area. Same sort of thing we just did in the as in the last area. We're just going to kill all the wolves on the sort of um, bottom right here. And now we're going to come up to the second boss. But we don't actually have to fight the second boss. So you can just... Oh, mate. I am Matrix style. Ish. Matrix style. So what we can do is press the X button on the gate to go through to the boss area. And then immediately go back to the left... Press the X button on the gate and go back through. And then what that'll do is get us the achievement for getting to the second boss. Uh, but again, we don't actually have to beat it. So now, you should potentially only have one or two achievements left. For me, it'll be one achievement left, and that is for killing 100 enemies. But if you don't have the achievement for collecting 100 coins yet, uh, you should get that as well. Just make sure to focus on that. Me, I'm pretty good with £177 in my bank. Actually, I'm not. Can anybody lend me some money? Preferably about £10,000. Oh, thanks! So yeah, just for now, um, just to get the 100 enemy kills, I just go through to uh, through this room and the room on the left. Um, if you do end up needing it more, just go and come back into this area, because all the enemies respawn anyway. So, that's it, man. That's job done. So, here we go. We're just going to kill a couple more of these enemies, and that is going to be another easy light-up games. <laughs> Copy and paste pasta paste another game with uh, extra different characters done. So, here we go. It's, uh, it's coming. There it is. There it is. So, there we go then, guys and gals. Another very easy one done. 10 to 15 minutes. See, I told you. I wouldn't lie to you. Uh, but thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I do hope you enjoyed the game. Hope you enjoyed the guide as well and that it helped. If it did help, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Um, don't forget to check me out on the socials as well, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and Patreon. And again, a big, huge, massive shout out to everyone on Patreon who continues to support the channel. You guys and gals are such mwah, legends. But that's it. Well, I guess I'll see you in the next one, guys and gals. Oh, ba 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 big love.